Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me video. Um, I'm really excited to do this video because it's kind of like getting to tell you guys what's been going on with me and I feel like so many people who watch my videos have no idea like who I am, like like what I do, like where have I been, like just little things that like I think would be nice for you guys to know. Um, so, so today, um, I just got back from visiting my friend in Texas A&M, really fun, she's like my best friend, and yeah. So from the start, I don't even know if you guys know this, but I've graduated college. I am now at home, I graduated in May. So now I'm at home just living with my parents, thankfully they took me in, <laughs> and um, looking for jobs right now, which honestly, like if anybody is doing that, they know the pain of looking for jobs. It sucks, like being a human being that actually has to work and find jobs sucks. Um, so I'm doing that right now. It's pretty stressful and it feels like it's a never ending, super emotionally draining process. Um, you think you do well on one interview and then you find out that you were like not even, like close to even being chosen. So yeah, that's always good. So that, is what I've been really doing recently, and I'm also working at a um, like local company in my area and doing some um, like social media for them. I graduated college with a major in public communications and a minor in environmental studies. So ideally, I would love to do PR. And also I was I worked for Ben and Jerry's and I did some PR for them and I loved that doing that. So ideally I would love to do like some PR still, like kind of get more experience doing that. And or marketing. Um, I've also been starting to do like a lot of digital stuff. If you want to follow me on my personal Instagram account, I will put it like down in this region. Um, I've been starting to get into doing like some stop motion videos. Um, which are really time consuming and you really tedious like you gotta like take a picture like set up the whole screen with like your lighting and like take you like whatever you want to move yeah, so what you do is you just take a picture and, and then you move something like very slightly and then you take another picture and you just keep doing it and I saw this girl who did it when I was working at Ben and Jerry's and she and it was really really cool and I thought I was like oh I could totally do that I need to just work on it so I've been practicing while I have the time because I know once I do get a job, it's just going to get crazier and I'm going to have to figure out my life even more. So I'm looking for jobs literally everywhere. I would love to be on like the west coast, would love to be maybe Arizona, Colorado, California, Portland, Washington, <laughs> any of those places, but yeah, I just... I just want something new and exciting. Like I went to, I'm from Texas originally, if you don't know. Um, and I went to school in Vermont cause I wanted, oh, I swam. Um, and I got recruited to swim in Vermont. So I, uh, I did that for four years and I loved it. Like <laughs> thing is, so like you think you hate somewhere and then you move and you realize like how much you loved that place. So that's kind of what I'm going through right now. I was like at first like, oh, like I need to get out of here. It's too cold. Like it's so boring. Like it's so cold. I can't do anything. And like then I moved and I realized it was really not as bad as I made it out to be. Also, I've been around town and when you move back to your hometown, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. So I've been um, in my hometown like where I grew up and went to high school and stuff. And like in high school, like all your buddies are here and like you can hang out with them whenever you want. When you leave and go to college, like even in college though, like you come home and there's people here to hang out with. And like, cause like when you come home on holidays, like everybody's usually on the holiday. And so I'm dealing with the fact that like no one's here. Everybody's kind of like doing their life which is good, everybody's like really successful and like moving places and holy shit, everybody's getting married and engaged, like that's terrifying, like didn't realize how old I was, but I guess that's, that's happening. And then you realize like, there's not many people to hang out with in your area anymore. 
and it sucks because like lonely AF. Um, but also I'm just like going to town right now. I'm just doing random stuff pretty much. I'm using the Naked palette actually, the first one, which I haven't touched in a while. It's a great palette, so I would highly recommend. Okay, so now we're talking. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my channel and like where I see it going. So I told you I've been doing like the digital stuff with my Instagram and starting with stop motion and things like that. I really want to get into doing more YouTube videos. I love YouTube. I just kind of got out of it because in college it was really hard to like multitask and like be successful in school and swim and do YouTube. So I was I was doing it there for a bit and then I got out of the whole loop of it and it, and it like made me really sad because like I still love doing it and I love watching it and I love being a part of like the community and stuff and like commenting on my friends videos and stuff like that. So I really want to get back into that but I think what I want to do and I know this is annoying to a lot of people because you want to watch what you want to watch and you subscribe to these channels because they're content that you enjoy watching. So um, I know I don't have a huge following or anything, but like people that watch my videos probably are interested in makeup. So I wanna start doing like lifestyle videos too. Like I'm not, I love makeup and I love doing makeup, but I feel like I don't want to just be stuck doing just makeup like I will definitely throw in a makeup video like a lot like stuff like this and like get ready with me's and stuff like that but I don't want it to be like the sole thing that's on my channels channels channel so I want to have options to do other fun like videos that I want to do too like uh, I have some ideas just like in the back of my head that I really want to like do but I don't know if you guys would like them like I do what I eat in a day videos and I do beauty videos and stuff like that but like I want to have the option is basically what I'm saying so love to know you guys' feedback on that one because I don't know if that's gonna like annoy people and like make them want to like not even watch my videos anymore um because I would do some vlog stuff and I didn't know if you guys liked that at all or like I should just completely stop doing that but I kind of enjoyed it it was just kind of something different like you get to you get to put your because whoever's on YouTube usually really likes to be like creative and not just creative in one certain thing like a lot of the people on YouTube really like just being creative and I've noticed that and yeah there's people who love what they do but there's also like other outlets that they want like to explore, which is kind of where I'm at right now. So I think I'm gonna start doing some of those videos and see how you guys like them. But for now, you guys will just see them coming whenever. I'm also, I know I'm looking for jobs and stuff right now, but I really wanna get to be more like normal um, at posting. I, wa I wanna post on Sundays, I think. Sundays or I mean I'm not perfect by any means but um, I really want to like try to get more on a schedule pretty much what's going on with that also I know I'm all over the place doing this makeup I'll link all of the products that I used or I'll try to remember them and put them in the bottom description box for you guys to know what I used on my face today hmm Oh, I went to Europe for a month. That was really fun. Um, I will post like some pictures um, in this little screen here maybe. Or um, if you follow me, like I said, on my Instagram, I posted a whole heap ton of photos from Europe. I went right after I graduated in, I think it was September. I went for um, almost a, a month, three, three weeks, almost a month. And it was so fun. I went with uh, one of my roommates from college, my freshman roommate, and it was a lot of fun. I'm from Texas, she's from Connecticut. So we fl I flew into New York, she picked me up, I stayed a night, and then we both drew drove to um, JFK. And we flew out of JFK and went to UK, which was absolutely stunning uh, we stayed with her family lives over in UK so we stayed with their family and um, it was just a little bit outside of London so we went into London a lot while we were there and it was a blast I loved it 
London's really, really, really pretty and really fun to be in. But um, like I could totally see myself living there, but if it weren't so expensive, <laughs> it's so expensive over there. They just had the Brexit. I don't know if anybody understands that, but I don't even really understand that. So honestly, but they, that just made the dollar go down for like American dollars. Like it used to be like two to one, but now it's like one to like 1.2 or something. So it's just a little bit more than a dollar for us. So that was really cool. Um, stayed there for like three nights or something. And then we went to, where did we go after that? So then we flew um, from London down to Florence, Florence, Italy. And then we stayed in Florence for, how long did we stay in Florence for? We stayed in Florence for like three days. And then after we went to Florence, we took a train from Florence to Cinque Terre, which was, oh my gosh, so stunning. Like that is, whew, that was like, I would definitely recommend. It's the place that has like the, it's the pictures that everybody takes, it's like the colorful buildings on this ledge. And then there's the water, so gorgeous. Um, I absolutely loved it there. And then we went from there to Milan for a night because we were uh, had a long train ride and then stopped in Milan for the night. And then we went to Switzerland, which was also my favorite place I've ever been to in my entire life. It was absolutely stunning. It was just like something you would never even think would be just like just postcard. Like the entire trip was just postcard. And I was just like so geek. I was geeking out completely because I like I'm really into photography and videos and stuff and digital stuff. So yeah, I was just like my head was out the door, like taking pictures the entire time. And it was just, it was so crazy and like beautiful. And we did this huge rock climb, like the, this little thing where you like are linked onto this like wire that goes up the mountain. And then you're like, that's how you're like stuck to the mountain. But like literally other than that, you're just climbing the mountain. And we went all the way up to the top and it was so gorgeous. And like something that like I will always forever cherish in my heart. <laughs> and then after Switzerland, we took a train ride up to, I think we stopped in, yeah, it was Munich next. So it was Oktoberfest when we went um, in Munich. Sorry, I'm gonna be like, talking weird because I'm trying to do this. Um, it was Oktoberfest in Munich, and so it was super cool. Oktoberfest is like this huge festival. A lot of people probably know of it, but it, everybody's been having like knockoff Oktoberfest, and this was like the original. So it was super beautiful, and it was super fun. Um, I loved Munich, um, and we basically just went from Oktoberfest. I know that's kind of shitty because like I kind of really wanted to see like other areas in Munich. Um, but we got to go see also a concentration camp, which I thought was really cool. And after Munich, we went to Belgium. We went to Brussels. And I think that was just one night and it was more just to kind of like have a layover from our long train ride and and then after we went to Brussels, we went to Amsterdam. So we took a train to Amsterdam for, I think it was three days we went to Amsterdam. And that place is so cool. Like you gotta go there if you're gonna be in Europe. Like it's a really fun place. Um, we went to like the red light district and did all that. And if you guys have questions about any of these places and you're like traveling there or something, like please let me know. And I will totally let, tell you like what we did and where we ate because we were complete foodies too, so we like Googled the heck out of the places that we were going to and we found like all these bomb places to eat. So let me know and I will totally tell you guys where we went. We stayed in Amsterdam for like three, three nights and then we flew back to London, had a layover in London and then we flew home to America that way. So we were in there for a total of like three weeks. It was, a, it was a pretty hefty trip and like I, sorry, I'm like trying to wing this out and it's not working. Um, I had never really been anywhere in like across the US or across the pond, whatever everybody says. I had never done any of that. Like the closest place I'd been to out of America was like Canada and I went to Vermont. So that was like kind of very close to, um, where I went to school, so like, it kind of doesn't really even count. 
Oh, and I also went to Punta Cana, which was, this was technically out of the country, but I had never been like overseas, like the other side of the country, or other side. I'm just gonna stop. I had never been over there. So yeah, that's what I was really excited about. And I think our trip was like really, really good because we kind of hit a lot of places that um, were like big in Europe to go to. But now like going there um, made me really, really realize like how much I want to see other places. Like I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Australia really bad. I want to see a lot of like, like Bora Bora and a lot of like beachy places like Turks and Caicos maybe. But I don't know because I do really, really, really bad with flights. Like flights in me, I get so nervous. Like that's one thing I would, I really want to make a video about is my anxiety. And I know a lot of people have anxiety and like deal with that every day, but I've been dealing with mine for years and I know I'm not the only one, but I feel like um, a lot of people deal with it and like I find kind of an outlet like talking about it because it makes me feel like I've kind of accepted it now so I can like deal with it and I really really want to make a video about it. Um, if you guys would be interested in all about that, um, please let me know, but yeah, I really, really hate flying. <laughs> so. I struggled with that, but for the most part, like, I don't know why. I think smaller flights almost get me worse than I do on longer flights because when I'm on a longer flight, like, you kind of just get acclimated up in that area, like, up in up in the air. So you kind of just forget, and you don't forget, but, like, I don't know why. I just think it's, it's not as bad for me for some reason on long flights than short flights. But short flights, man, they, like me angsty Whew, I get really nervous maybe it's because they're like smaller planes or something I don't really like don't like flying but that's the one thing that I'd be really worried about going to like Australia for because Australia is like on the other side of the world <laughs> and a very very long flight so um, I would maybe have to like split it up and like go stop off somewhere else and then like then go um, I don't know though Oh, also, so anyways, traveling, it was great. Highly recommend. Um, but I just got this uh, Melted Matte Lipstick uh, from Too Faced, and it's the Cool Girl, Cool Girl uh, color. It is bomb, like I love this lipstick. And I've had really bad breakouts from Too Faced, so I was kind of like nervous to get this stuff. Uh, and I never hear people talk about this, but I had bought the Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I used it as like a contour and I broke out in hives like all around my face and like my parents and sister made fun of me so hard because I bought this like $30 thing by like myself and I was super excited to use it and I like broke out in hives all over the place. So I ended up taking it back but like staying far away from Too Faced because I didn't know if it was something in the formula they use or like something so I just would just not use any of their products uh, for a really long time and I probably never will use that product ever again but uh, I was like oh these are li like lipsticks like what could they put in here that would like make me break out so I'm trying it out and I really liked it and I wore it all last night um, out and about like drinking drinks and like out talking and eating and stuff and it, it was still on I had to like really rub it off at the end of the night. So, yeah, you don't really have to reapply that much either. And uh, yeah, I really, really recommend. But yeah, I think that is pretty much my look. This is the look that's happening tonight. Um, I really, really enjoyed making this video. I know I had a ton to talk about, so I was just constantly talking. Um, but I really enjoy like kind of catching you guys up to date. Um, I love it if you would comment because I don't even know like what you guys think about my videos at all Like I would love if you would just kind of give me some feedback maybe um, Or like just let me know what you would like to see kind of because I'm totally open ears and Super interested in trying to make that happen um, I think I just get on myself really hard if I don't like how the video turns out and it doesn't have the right lighting and things like that and I really just get down on myself so I'm gonna really try to like pr put together some like good content for you guys but I think 
that is pretty much all I have to talk about at this moment. Um, I really, really uh, hope you guys like this video and uh, leave me a comment and subscribe. I would love that. Hope you guys have a really, really wonderful uh, afternoon, lunch, morning, whatever you guys, what time you guys are watching this. I would really hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you guys in my next video. Bye.